Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor here, and I am back. Back in black from North Carolina. Actually, I'm wearing gray. So not, not really black. Gray and blue. Close to black, don't you think, if you mix them together or something like that? I actually got back last night, but, man, I decided, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to play a game this morning or make a commentary. But I decided I, I needed to make a commentary, so that's what I'm doing. And let me jump in, uh, wait, no, before I jump into my gameplay, this game, I'm gonna warn you now, this game sucks, after I get the nuke, I do awful, so I give you permission to leave and stop watching after the nuke, nukeage part, because I honestly do terrible, but if you want to hear about my vacation, then you can stay and watch the awfulness, you know, in this game, I actually, I told Brian, or BS Killer, whichever you know him, but I was playing with him this game, and I specifically told him, you know what, Brian? I'm getting a nuke this game. My first scrapyard nuke shall be this game. And I got it. So suck on them apples, Brian. But I was using the P90 silence just running around. I ran into their spawn and just kind of chillaxed back there running around. And I actually do love this P90. I really, really do. It's it, silence or red dot sight is what's up. I do love both of those. Or if you... Akimbo, they look extremely gay, Akimbo. So, they're actually pretty good, Akimbo, though. You put steady aim on, these things are beasts at hip firing, but they do look incredibly gay. So, if you want to trade in your man card for some beast mo Kimbo 90, Kimbo P90s, then go for it. But, pretty sure it raises your gay status up a little bit. But, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Whatever's your choice, boys and girls. It's not up to me. And so I got back into rushing because I hadn't been rushing all that all so much for some reason. This game was actually, I made this game like three weeks ago, but I, but I was doing some other, putting up the other games like the, um, the, 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 the forget what it's called. Yeah, I don't even remember. The game where I used the MP5K and used different attachments, whatever that was called. I was doing that, so I didn't have this put up, but. Now I decided to put it up since I'm leaving again Sunday. I'm sorry, guys. I know, I know you're gonna miss me, but I'll be back. Don't worry. After that, hopefully I can get another game between today and tomorrow. But we will see. I haven't played Xbox in about a week now, so maybe we'll see if things change. But going for a nuke is not so much fun anymore. But we'll see. We'll see how the game is working out for me. If not, it'll be back to team deathmatch. But back to the P90. I do love it. It's got the large, large ammo capacity, which is amazing. 40 bullets. I think it has 40 bullets. And its clip is awesome. You, The recoil can be kind of hard to use, though. Like, it can bounce around a little bit. Not as bad as the MP5K. But definitely worse than, like, the P, uh, the Uzi, I actually think, doesn't have that bad of recoil. And the UMP, definitely worse than those. But it's pretty powerful, and you can use it at many different ranges. It's not really limited to close range only it's pretty decent if you tap it long, like trigger tap whatever it's called i don't even know but if you do that then yes sir it can be used at longer range and man so this was my first scrapper duke and new uke <laughs> scrapyard uke oh my goodness how could i even say something like that my first scrapyard nuke, because for some reason I don't do all that well in scrapyard, but I did all right this game. I ended up sucking at the end, but I did all right in the beginning. And now, on to my trip. I went to Cherokee, North Carolina, and we just kind of chilled out in the Smokies in a cabin with my uncle and two aunts. The two two aunts aren't gay or anything. There's, not, there's nothing going on there. The one aunt's just divorced, so, so she came down with her kids and... We chillaxed down there with... Oh, my grandma and grandpa were there, too. We had three cabins just kind of chilled out by the creek. Or creek, whatever you call it. I call it the creek, but I hear the creek. Creek, creek's like... Isn't it a creek like... Creek's like... Ah, who cares what a creek is? A creek's like something you get in your neck or something. Not not freaking anything you swim or fish in. I don't know. If you say creek, go say creek. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying here. But anywho, as we were down there... We gotta do some exciting stuff. It wasn't really my favorite vacation. We normally go to Myrtle Beach, and I do enjoy Myrtle Beach way more than Cherokee, North Carolina, because the beach, beach or mountains, beach or mountains, definitely beach for me. I do enjoy the beach. And there wasn't really all that many kids my age at this place anyways. Nobody was there. They're all like 10. Nobody likes hanging out with a 10-year-old. But my cousins are 16, 17, so we're about the same age, and 
they're pretty they're they're pretty cool but they had to leave to go back home on monday so they were only there for like two days then my grandma's sister died so she had to leave on like tuesday so it was pretty much me stuck with a ten, uh, seven and eight year old cousin the entire week which sucked but it was we did some some fun stuff i guess it was the yogi bear campground so we got the yogi hey boo boo that's all he says that's the only thing i can remember that yogi says just like hey boo boo just like that in super deep voice, so, so it's more like, hey, boo-boo. Kind of like that, you know what I'm saying? You should go watch it, because it's pretty catchy, actually. It was stuck in my head all weekend, because they play Yogi Bear nonstop on this big screen in the middle of the campground, which nobody liked. And so, but we still had to listen to it all the time. But we got to go tubing while I was down there. I ripped a massive hole in my uh, in my bathing suit while I was. we went off a jump in my... Uh, went off a jump and my balls just smacked the water. Quite sure I might have popped a testicle or a blood vessel in my ball sack, but you know, it's all good. It's better now. <laughs> it's better now and it got me a massive, massive rip in it. But my mama my mama Sita sewed it back up because I can't do sewing. Sewing is not for me. And so they're as good as new now. Not really. But you can kinda tell, but it was a huge hole, dude. I could fit my fist in it. it it was pretty bad. I felt like I was going to puke. It was some massive ball to water slappage. That would have been pretty sweet on like a on like a medical report. Balls versus water. You know how they, you know, <laughs> you know how they do that? any medical people out there. When people get in like a car crash, it would be like auto versus bike. If it was somebody getting a crash with a car wreck. Car, bike, car. Car crash with a bike, not a car bike. Never. They should make one of those, but I'm pretty sure they don't have one. But, you know, if they get... But yeah, a balls versus water accident right there is what happened. So that was pretty intense. And I also got to ride a mechanical bull, which sucked. Gave me worst headache ever. I'm pretty sure I still have a headache now three days later. But dude, it was pretty it was pretty fun. I got blood all over the bull though, because it like rips up your knuckles. And it was <laughs> it was pretty sweet though. You know you rocking back and forth like a pro. Felt like a boss out there until I fell off three times. And I didn't feel so bossy. And this little girl was up there riding with no hands for like two minutes. And I freaking showed me up. She was like eight. <laughs> oh, well, she's she must have been a professional bull rider, you know. One of those amateurs. I just sucked. We also got to climb up the side of a waterfall. Uh, a legit waterfall. Yeah, yeah. Jealous much, aren't you? Yes, it was pretty sweet. My brother fell and got a rock shoved up his butthole. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That pretty much made my day from that point on. But we ended up taking the wrong trail because my mom's like, Oh, hey, look, let's climb up this one. It's easier. Because the way I go, me and my cousins were going, you climb straight up the side of the waterfall. Pretty much, like, just off to the left a little bit, there's rocks you have to climb up. It's like it's like in legit rock climbing right there. But my mom wanted to take the trail. We ended up going, like, a mile and a half too far, and we're standing here at the top of the mountain. The waterfall's like a mile down below us and we have to climb all the way back down getting attacked by thorn bushes and whatnot but you know it's pretty good I look like I got attacked by a mini raccoon weasel thing and my dad looks even worse because he fell down like 12 times because he's getting old <laughs> you know what I'm saying they losing their balance he can't even hear or see anymore he's an old fart but it was pretty sweet once you get to the top you can like look straight over the waterfalls like straight down you can look down and see the little people down at the bottom because you can like play around in the water down there, you know. It's all freezing and stuff, but it's so much fun. Oh, oh, burped. Mm. Man, I really want my frosted flakes, but of course we don't have any milk. Who eats frosted flakes without milk? Not me. But you know, that was extremely high voice. I should never do that again. <laughs> oh man, I'm disappointed now. I'm pretty much just like I think my man card just got ripped in half on that one. Actually, I don't even know if I have my man card yet. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. When do you get your man card? Does anybody know? Is there like a certain age where you should be given a man card? I'm not sure. Somebody should tell me. Is there like an age? Where do you guys think you get your man card at? What would that be? What what gives you your man card? What do you have to do? Or how old do you have to be? That'd be. I, I need to know these things because if you want to run around with P90 Kimbos, you automatically lose your man card for about a week. So. I didn't know if I even have mine yet, because learning how P90 Kimbo's kind of sounds like fun. But this game is coming to an end now, and so I, while I still have my main card, I'll start wrapping things up. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page. I'll put everything and anything up there. I'll put stuff about my St. Kitts trip I'm going on, and I'll give updates and all that good stuff. So make sure you like my Facebook page. 
don't forget to friend me on YouTube and on uh, Xbox. My gamer tag's in my channel. Send me a friend request. I'll play with you guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you when I see ya. Adios.